Welcome to Dave TV. How y'all doing, everybody? It's the 19th of September, 2014, take two. <laughs> like to say hello to a couple shout outs this morning to Michael and Dina. Um, Dina is DCRTV's biggest fan, self, -pro no, whatever, self, -pro self professed biggest fan. And, uh, and also shout out to uh, Nick and Dan. The reason they end, Nick's kind of crazy, but I like him. Dan, um, you know, he's a stock market dude, but anyhow, um, he's got a grunding shortwave radio that, uh, that maybe if I do a shout out today, he'll give it to me as a donation. That'd be kind of cool. Cause I like old radios. Anyway, how y'all doing everybody? So some big news today. What's, what's going on? Um, I, you know, here's an interesting thing. CBS radio. Again, every couple of years, CBS radio says, Hey, we're going to sell off some small to mid market stations. They do that every year. We went, we just want to focus on big markets, you know, like 15 and better. And the Washington radio market is seventh or eighth. So they have nothing to worry about here, I guess. But Baltimore is 21st. And there were some rumblings years ago that CBS would be selling its Baltimore stations. And technically they were put on the market, I guess, or unofficially. And, uh, they did sell one of their stations. They sold WQSR 1027 to Clear Channel, but they still have a bunch of stations. They still have WWMX, Mix 106.5. They still have um, Adult Contemporary Light 102, 101.9. They have the sports duo there of WJZ, AM and FM uh, 105.7 and 1300. And then they also own Channel 13, WJZ. So uh, I was looking at Tom Taylor's excellent little uh, daily radio newsletter. He's my favorite, absolutely. And uh, and he's saying, hey, you know, the, he went to that um, um, NAB radio show in Indianapolis a week or two ago, and there was lots of rumblings that CBS is back to, although, you know, we want to get rid of those mid-market stations. So Baltimore being the 21st market, um, yeah, you might want to, you might, oh, you folks up there in Towson might want to be a little bit concerned. There's a company called Diggity, like hot diggity. I guess they're based in Florida, and apparently Diggity wants to buy 40 to 50 stations, and it looks like CBS wants to sell 40 to 50 stations, and mainly mid-markets like, you know, like Baltimore. So um, who knows? Maybe some of those CBS stations could end up with new owners pretty soon. You know, I still think over and over again that Hearst needs to do some kind of a deal. Maybe if CBS is in the market to sell some of these stations, Hearst needs to do something, and they need to be buying – uh, a couple of FMers in Baltimore, if possible. In fact, not all of them. You know, buy the whole. You know, it'd be nice if Hearst could just buy the whole CBS cluster, and then they could put B A L A M on FM, which is where they need to be. And that brings us to yesterday's other big story: is that W B A L Radio is switching from CBS to ABC in terms of its uh, top of the hour newscasts. It doesn't surprise me one bit because. Um, um, earlier this year, CBS here in Washington, you know, they started up that old newser a couple years ago, WNEW at 99.1. Technically, the transmitter's in the Baltimore Metro in Anne Arundel County. But anyhow, they've been pretty much a Washington station, and they suddenly thought, and, and I suggested this many times on DCRTV, that they start saying, hey, look, this is where our signal goes. Why don't we mark it? Why don't we have, we have a radio station that covers a certain area. Why don't we uh, uh, market our station to people in that area? And of course, the WNEW has an excellent signal into the Baltimore market. So I guess somebody over there came up with that brilliant idea simultaneously and said, gee, you know, we, we cover, you know, Baltimore. Why don't we market our signal there? And that's what they started doing. And and at the same time, VAL's ratings started to drop. So I don't know. Put two and two together. I don't know. Uh, BAL's had some chaos lately. Their, uh, their longtime um, GM left after many years, and they've got a new guy now. And they're make, doing some shakeups, new logos, some you know, program lineup changes probably in the works. But um, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. But I think, you know, if, if CBS and Hearst could get together and do some kind of a deal, I think that would benefit both companies, you know. But, well, we shall see. We shall see. But but here, well, so so why is uh, why is why is BAL going from ABC or CBS News to ABC News? Well, again, because they're not being competed at. They're not being rivaled. You know, their main rival, and one of their main rivals now is an out-of-market FM or doing all news marketed to Baltimore. And they're also doing, you know, NEW does a lot of co-promotional uh, stuff with WJZ FM, which is a rival to BAL television. So in a way, CBS is like, you know, using this Washington station to kind of 
come in to Baltimore and, and give him some competition. And so I think the folks at BAL are saying, wait a minute now, do we want to deal with the enemy, you know, CBS, if they're coming in to take our ratings at BAL and then they want to sell us their news product? Uh, 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 ain't going to happen. So they're moving to ABC, which is interesting. Because WMAL here in Washington, a cumulus station, you know, the guys that just don't know how to run radio, they have no idea how to run big market radio at cumulus. They're completely ignorant of it. They don't know how to do it. Don't know how to do it in New York. Can't do it here. You know, whatever. Anyhow, the rumors, the rumblings are that they're going to go to a CNN product for their top of the hour national newscast come January. It won't be called CNN News. It'll be called something else, but it, it'll be tailored to the cumulus stations, and they'll be dropping ABC News. So uh, here in Washington, we'll be losing ABC News on, on one of our major stations. In Baltimore, they'll be gaining it. So that's the yin and the yang for you, huh? <laughs> All right, folks. So that's the big news that's coming down the pike. Um, yeah, whatever, whatever. Um you know, I, what am I going to, I'm going to rant against the, against the Washington Post again. It's just such a sad paper. It really is. What do I say? You know, I, Paul Farley's a good guy, but you know, he comes up and does an article about big front page article in the style section about Politico changing, whatever, and a bunch of inside baseball news. You know, they really need to sit down at the Post and figure out what we're going to do with our media coverage because they're either too inside baseball or they're too ignoring stuff you know they're, they're not coming to that sweet spot where they're doing stories that people really care about i i have to say that probably 98 percent of washington post readers don't care about the politico and the inside baseball stories of former washington post executives that are now working at the politico that's too inside baseball but at the same time when major stuff happens in the washington media that affects a lot of people like djs that people listen to you know they come and they go whatever and tv anchors they don't report that you know, and that's that's important news. Or, or they're slow to report it. You know, the Sinclair story that Paul Furry did earlier this week was a good story. But, you know, he really waited a while. <laughs> when you look at, you know, a year ago, two big news stories happened. The Washington Post got bought by Jeff Bezos at Amazon. And Sinclair was announced it was going to buy all Britain's Channel 7 and a bunch of other stations. You know, they, they away, you know, I mean, again, the Post does one thing they do well is cover themselves. So they covered endless stories about the Post being sold and one or two little dinky things about Channel 7 being sold. And to be honest with you, uh, you know, I mean, how many people watch Channel 7 versus how many people read the Post? Probably a, a lot on both counts. But, you know, like you overcover one thing and undercover another. They a lot of things. I won't go on with it. I know you're tired of hearing me. Blanter, bat, banter on about all this crazy crap. So anyhow, I don't know. So somebody emails me on Facebook and says there's a new channel, channel, what is it? Channel 36 Facebook. Where's my stupid Facebook link? It keeps moving. <laughs> um, WMDE Dover, Delaware, channel 36. It's on channel five. They actually broadcast on channel five. But their virtual channel, which you get them on TV, is 36.1. And he got them in Anne Arundel County. So that's pretty cool. Um, so anyhow, um, it's called they, they call themselves WMDE, Dover, Washington, Baltimore. Yeah. I think they're trying to gun for maybe cable carriage in Baltimore and Washington. But I don't think too many people, unless you have a pretty good setup and you live on the far eastern edges of either metro, you're not going to get them. Uh, on your regular TV. I certainly can't get even the slightest signal. But then again, on my little rabbit ears, since I cut the cord, you know, I can't get any Baltimore, or I can't even get MPT on my antenna here. Now, if I put the antenna on the roof or outside, I might, but you know, I just get the Washington stations, which is fine for me. That's plenty to watch. So, but no Rhea Fike. And that, again, you know, you have to give up some stuff, you know, giving up my cable, uh, no more Rhea Fike. And so, um, I'm not going to go to MPT's website and probably watch some of her on there, but. Damn, I don't know how I'm going to live without Rhea Fikin. But anyhow. All right, folks. Thanks for watching Dave TV for the 19th of September. Don't forget, it's our 17th anniversary month. Please make a donation. 17 bucks gets you a year at DCRDB Plus. And I tell you, Plus will never be that cheap again. And we also are updating Plus like many times a week now. So there's a lot of new old stuff coming on there, okay? So, uh, you know, 17 bucks or more, you know, as I say, no donation is too little or too big. You know, if you want to make it $17,000, uh, that would be cool too. You know, I'm sure there's some very wealthy fat cats out there like Jack Diamond and Joe and, uh, and Don Geronimo that, you know, could 
Send us a check for 17000 and probably wouldn't even miss it. <laughs> All right, folks. Thanks for watching, Davey. Yeah, click on the support little blinky dinky at the top of DCRTV. Or just go to PayPal and just send money to my DCRTV at Hotmail.com account. That would be great. All right, folks. Thanks for watching, Dave TV. As Bill Lord would say, book them, Dano.